And now chilling video of a supermarket dispute that took a tragic turn. Two men arguing in the lotto ticket line when one of them pulled out a gun and fired. Sheldon Fox shows us our first look at the supermarket shooting. Someone is shot and killed at the front entrance of a grocery store. That should never happen. But it did. A cold-blooded front of the supermarket murder in the lotto line. In front of stunned customers and employees in Coral Gables. And, and the panic, the customers ran through the front door. 7 News obtained surveillance video of this tragic time. It's the worst nightmare a family can have. Attorney Justin Shapiro represents the family of the late 49-year-old Franklin Jose Pinheiro. This was the rock of the family. This was also the breadwinner of the family. Worked hard, came home to his 12-year-old son, paid the bills. He's suing Publix and the jailed accused killer. I'm holding you with no bond. With his shopping cart, 51-year-old Asmel Lugo Gutierrez is who police say approaches the red shirt wearing Pinero before the two men exchange words. Gutierrez goes to his waistband, pulling a gun. We're stopping the video here. What happens next is the victim taking a bullet. He's shot and killed steps away from the front entrance door. Pinero was rushed out of Publix by fire rescue. Gutierrez was let out by police. He's charged with murder. There absolutely should have been an armed guard. Shapiro says there was no sign of an armed guard that night, based on the security footage. Number one, they deter something from even beginning. And number two, you can intervene. An armed guard has authority, they have training, and they know how to intervene when something like this is escalating. Sheldon Fox, 7 News. And we did reach out to Publix for comment on the suit. They said they don't offer comment during open cases. If you want to learn more about the GoFundMe page set up for the victim's family, you can do so on our website at WSVN.com.